Hello watch fans! Berth Year Watches here and this time for you we have a circa 1930 Eberhard & Co Monopusher chronograph. Now a monopusher, as it would imply, has just the one pusher. So to start the chronograph you start it on the top button, you stop it on the top button and you reset on the top button. Couldn't be easier. Makes you wonder why we've got two buttons on all modern chronographs. This was when Eberhard were famous for their chronographs and you can see why. You've got this lovely printed enamel dial. There are a few cracks and crazing points on it. Now this watch is approaching 100 years old. It's going to have some signs of wear. This what's known as a snail pattern in the middle for clear reasons, giving you different graduations. The hands are nicely blued look very even but you've got a leaf hand here and a breguet hand here and we've found examples with either both leaf hands or both breguet hands so some point maybe even when new this has different hands fitted for some reason can't be 100% sure if that was from at the factory or at service or far later in life we're just making it obvious to everybody it may not have spotted it. Now the case is chromed so there were 18 karat gold versions of this watch you will obviously pay a lot more and they're not if this isn't bargain bucket inside this you have got a very nice pillar or column wheel chronograph movement really pretty thing there's photos on the website uh, I am going to show you though one of the downsides with chrome and that is because it's a plated material it can come off it's fixed lugs this and when we say fixed lugs just in case you're not aware there's no pins to push to release the strap that's fixed and you can see here that that plating should go all the way across the back of the watch case and it doesn't Possibly there was a personal engraving that someone thought that they would try and get off. There is a bit of a trace of something there. Uh, possibly it's worn because you can see the straight line where a NATO style strap has been on. I'm just going to take it right off this. Uh, this uh, is known as a bund strap and it covers that wear, hence we've chose it for this particular watch. It's a large watch, it's 40 millimeters, very large for its day. Uh, the case is hinged front and back. I'm sure I won't be able to open it with my nail. No. Uh, but as I say, the photos are on the website. Obviously a manual wind movement. You could go with the red and black colours. These are 20mm lugs. So you can make quite a, a difference with a different strap on this. Personally, I think that this bund or cuff style strap suits perfectly. So a very nice thing from an esteemed watchmaker at a time that they were doing things the best. Uh, this model actually came out in 1919, but that was with central or floating lugs. This fixed lug model is later. So a very interesting piece. This is the earliest chronograph I've ever had. And I think it presents really well. It's available now at berthierwatches.com and the link is on the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.